greetings to all this is a session on medical genetics uh, an introductory session where i'll be taking you through the background of medical genetics how and where it emerged what has the historical underpinnings what are the principles that it uh, emerged with how it branched out of human genetics and uh, um, what are the major developments in the field of med med uh, medical genetics in indian context and how anthropology is particularly situated in all this uh, issue of medical genetics per se so getting started with the presentation so basically uh, this is in reference to one of the article that i have read recently on medical genetics about uh, the perspectives of medical genetics how it emerged and the whole uh, historical understanding of it so the article uh, link will be attached in the description of the video so please refer to it um most of the context that i'll be referring to in this presentation will be um, from that uh, paper so it will be very uh, insightful for you also to if you could read that paper by yourself now uh, there has been several definitions that were proposed for understanding medical genetics for example um, it it refer it is referred to as the science of human biological variation in relation to health and disease it uh, studies the etiology and pathogenesis the natural history of diseases and the disorders which are partially or completely genetic in origin and then the application of genetics to medicine or medical practices then um, referred to as the integrated clinical or the laboratory services which is provided for dealing with certain disorder but um, there is a sort of tension that is uh, there between the medical geneticists and the clinical uh, field clinical area of the medicine but nonetheless the idea of medical genetics genetics has branched itself out of the human genetics to emphasize exclusively on the part of research and also to deal with the clinical component of human health and well-being now um this uh how did the medical genetics has branched out of human genetics becomes the question so literature says a lot many things about uh, the branching out of uh, this discipline the sub discipline uh, since uh, the 1950s onwards we have witnessed the advancement of technology of the conceptual understanding the uh, you know uh, addition to the evidence based research especially in the field of cytogenetics and the biochemical genetics so gradually and over the period of time this advancement has led to the progress of uh, relating it to the contemporary issues of human genetics essentially dealing with the health and well-being of the society so in in the american society of human genetics in 1977 motelsky addressed this issue that why there is this overlap of uh, clinical genetics and human genetics uh, evidently visible in the uh, in the scenario then so he he uh, quoting from his statement he said medical geneticists need to broaden their field of interest to encompass other fields than those of the pediatric interest alone uh, especially when we are talking in terms of the prenatal diagnosis and stuff like that so this field is originated largely from research oriented sciences to a service oriented speciality this is a sign of increasing maturity and thus the stress and the strains need to be carefully monitored to avoid slowing this momentum of our science now um, uh, apart from motelsky there were other pioneers who have realized that this advancements are happening in the technological domains and they could be associated with the field of genetics and along with this the advancement of the conceptual understanding also the uh, the expansion of the knowledge base especially in the field of cytogenetics was the major cause that has led to the shift and the branching out of medical genetics from human genetics now over the period of time we have seen the setting up of different many organizations societies the journals or the boards of medical genetics especially which already originated in the american context are now widely evident across the globe so over the period what has changed however is that much of the medical genetics research 
is uh, now being done by physicians and scientists who do not really consider themselves as medical genetics geneticists or for that matter uh, even the human genetics geneticists also so fortunately as far as the science is concerned um, not relating to the expertise we we would appreciate that this really does not have any great consequences because medical genetic research is being done and it continues to contribute to the medicine to the field of genomics and otherwise and it's equally important so yeah now uh, another question comes to the mind like who exactly is then the medical geneticist then so um, these are basically the physicians who uh, are expert in uh, or they, they have the expertise in providing a comprehensive diagnostic or the management or the genetic counseling the genetic screening planning and coordinating all the programs related to the genetic disorders etc so therefore comprehensively uh, comprehensively speaking they are uh, entitled to diagnose and manage the genetic disorders or uh, provide patients and family the counselings related to genetic disorders they have this knowledge of uh, natural history heterogeneity etc given to the patients to make a very informed decision based on the knowledge given then um, interpret the family medical histories then also interpret the lab based tests that were given and the information that could be procured out of those lab based tests then they also explain the causes the natural history of genetic disorders genetic risk assessment etc they also consult apart from the dealing with the patients directly they also interact and discuss with the other health professionals over the course of um, the counseling process or the management process so that they are aware about what all provisions of services are available out there not just for the doctors or for the professionals or for the geneticist per se but also for the uh, patients so that they could be you know provided with a set of information that they can make an informed decision again out of it now uh, what has been the medical status of uh, or what has been the status of medical genetics in genetics in india now in india we have uh, this indian academy of medical genetics it was a professional organization which was established by the medical geneticists across country in 2012 um basically the underlying objective of this organization was to improve the quality and accessibility to the clinical genetics to promote medical genetics education and research uh, to integrate medical genetics research into patient care to promote holistic development of this uh, medical discipline in india to serve as a forum to interact and to also act as the advisory board to government in matters which are relating to medical genetics uh plus uh, apart from this academy per se there has been many other genetic services like icmr or uh, other institutions which are holding uh, long term courses like sanjay gandhi post graduate medical institutions that have a three year full fledged uh, residential course on medical genetics and uh, kasturba medical college and there are many like that so uh, the uh, you know the institutional establishment across the country has been immense and the importance given to genetics medical genetics human genetics has been considerable but uh, situating anthropology becomes one of the question where exactly do we situate anthropology in this whole uh, in this whole uh, uh, understanding of medical genetics in india or uh, for that matter globally so definitely there comes a restriction when we talk in terms of diagnostics or when we talk of uh, in terms of the dealing with the uh, population per se because uh, anthropology more or less is inclined towards population genetics or even for that matter medical genetics it has a correlation with both of these but not with the clinical genetics because uh, the scope of clinical genetics is more of uh, you know uh, clinic oriented uh, the desk oriented work uh, on the other hand on the contrary we have population genetics medical genetics which are um, 
reaching out to the community which are working out with the population groups understanding the medical issues the health issues the um, uh, the battles of diseases and therefore uh, a very comprehensive understanding comes from medical genetics and anthropology hand in hand going together to do the welfare of the society and therefore uh, anthropologists are considerably equal into uh, the medical genetic geneticists as well uh, and not very much to the clinical geneticists so uh, considering the scope or the applicability of it is determined by the expertise of the person as well for example if uh, somebody is going out and certifying themselves with the um, some some training that they are equipped to diagnose to you know to provide a good counseling of, of for that matter then the person is eligible but within the scope of the uh, you know academic understanding one is not uh, equipped to do this uh, counseling or diagnostics going out there in the field but but nonetheless when we say anthropologist working out in the community dealing with the population issues definitely we have an edge over other disciplines because we are out right there out in the community working uh, for the welfare of the community collecting the information interacting with, with our first hand interactions with the community and their uh, challenges that they are de dealing in terms of their health or diseases etc so this becomes a very uh, you know wider scope for anthropologists to dwell upon and therefore uh, you know researches becomes very important to be understood what what current um, uh, research being going on in terms of just not just being medical genetics but relating interdisciplinarily across the population genetics across human genetics across other other branches of genetics yeah so that will be a small introduction about medical genetics thank you